Hi, my name is Patrick, and I'm here today to show you the Rico C5503 color copier, printer, scanner. I guess probably the first place to show you is the home screen, and so you have different features to choose from. You have copier, scanner, printer, document server, and uh, the address book management, which really you probably will not going to use that utility a lot. Copier, probably the most frequently used. Go ahead and highlight that. You will have to enter a user code. And once you enter the user code, you now have access to all the copy features. Probably the most common question that I get is how to get how to exit out of your user account. And you do that by pressing reset and clear simultaneously. That will exit you out of your user account. Or you can wait one minute after the machine is idle and it will automatically reset itself. Over here is your exposure settings. You can put it on auto color select and what that will do if you have mixed originals it's going to copy the black on black and any color documents that are in your packet it's going to automatically detect that it's color and print it on color. And if you wanted to reset any of the settings this yellow button right here press reset and that will clear the entire machine. It won't exit you out of your account, but it will reset all the settings on the machine. Otherwise, you can put it on text, photo, or text. And here are your exposure settings where you can lighten and darken manually. Over here is your auto paper select. And what this will do, it will automatically detect what size paper you have put in the document feeder and which by the way put all your originals face up in the feeder up to 100 sheets so as long as you have the same size paper in the drawer as you do with the document feeder it will automatically detect what size paper it is using these sensors that are on the document feeder if you don't want it on auto paper select you can manually for example put it on 8.5 by 11 or you could also use the bypass tray for thick stock or odd size sheets of paper. Over here is where you do your double sided copies. The thing that I like about the control panel is it will show you, give you a picture of what it will do. So for example one sided to two sided, two sided to two sided, and then you have combined features over here if you wanted two originals copied on to one side and put it side by side reduced. That's kind of a common uh, feature that some of the teachers really like because it saves paper. Over here is where you would sort or stack and over here these are your staple features. You can staple up to 1,000 sheets of paper and uh, this will hold up to 1,000 a, a sheets but you can staple up to 100 sheets at a time. You can select whether you want the staple on the top left, bottom left corner, two on the side, or two on the top. It's pretty easy to use that way. One of the things that I like about the color machine especially is the sample copy feature. So if you select advanced features on this machine and you're going to do multiple sets, it's probably best that you press sample copy. It's going to give you your first set, allow you to review it, and then if you wish to resume the others, press start. That way you're not copying or, or printing a hundred sheets of paper that find their way to the trash bin. Under here, probably one of the most, these are your advanced features, and probably one of the most common one that I've been showing everyone is the stamp feature. And the stamp, you can actually put stamps on your page and you would want stamps to do maybe like date stamping, page numbering, preset stamps. These preset stamps are urgent, priority, confidential, and so forth. Or you can, I'm sorry, you can also go ahead and create your own uh, text. So for example, if you wanted to, you could put good luck uh, on your copies and press OK. 
and there's a little bitty icon that's showing us it's going to put that on the top right hand side of our pa paper and you can have that on all pages or first page only if you didn't want it on the top right hand side you would do select change box and I can move that image all the way around the page Okay, so you would also do the same thing with any of the other stamps as soon as you select one you can press the change box and move it around the page so it's very helpful doing uh, uh, the stamp feature let's go ahead and talk about the scanning when you scan you have two choices you can either scan to an email folder or you can scan to an email address currently I can see that there's no destinations that have been set up so until we set those up you could also select manual entry and you can manually type an email address in once you do that it's going to save it in the machine's memory and you could select this box recent and you can access the previous email destinations that people have sent to you can save those boxes if they're frequent enough to where you want to create your own box under printer probably don't need to use this a whole lot unless you were going to reset a job or you can over here on the right hand side of the panel you can print from a USB flash drive or jump drive they actually I'm sorry it's on this side go ahead and put your jump drive in here select printer because we're gonna print as soon as you do that a window is gonna appear that says print from a memory storage device it's going to locate that device there it is currently I only have two files on it just highlight your file and press start and it will print your file and we can go ahead and pull that out go back to your home screen and let's talk about misfeeds real quick if you had a misfeed on the machine one of the things that I like it will actually show you where on the machine that you're having a misfeed or if there's a panel open so if you have a misfeed in the doc document feeder open this up if you have a misfeed on the right hand side little tight for space so but this drawer opens up and it will either be right here or inside the machine right there another place you might want to check is right here which is the uh, bridge unit uh, the bridge unit pushes the paper from the machine mainframe into the finisher so you could do there this is your stapling sorter finisher and again, I have this panel open, and that arrow is pointing to where we're having an issue. Open that up, or you could look inside the finisher, and it would say misfeed right there, and you could lift this little tab up or move the rollers to exit the paper. If you had a misfeed, and you remove the paper, and it does not detect it, I would go ahead and probably turn off the main power switch right here, wait a minute, Turn the machine back on and that should reset the sensor. If that does not work, here's the number to our service on the sticker right here. You can either call or jump on our website. They're going to ask for the model number, the serial number, and go ahead and tell them which department or room number you're at. For the toner, open up the front panel. Uh, you have four color toners here. Just pull it out. Just give it a good yank. And uh, each one of these are key coded. This is your black, cyan, magenta, and you cannot put the magenta in the cyan, and you cannot put the cyan in the magenta. It will not go inside the machine, so that's very helpful. Paper drawers, you have four paper drawers, 500 sheets each. The bottom three are universal paper drawers, and you can push these guides in and out to set the paper in the drawer. And other than that, I really think that is about it. And I thank you for your time.